Hi there, welcome to the week of the Burry Squares YouTube channel. Anyway, doing a little uh, review of the part we bought on Amazon. It's a 4L80E uh, standalone controller for transmission. So, if you remember now, if you're watching, this is my 1980 Pontiac Firebird. It's a 6 litre. It's got a Holly system in it that doesn't control the transmission. So, anyway, uh, and we somewhat modified the shifter that we have into it. Um, so the, actually the detents don't line up really good but anyway it's still got uh, four gears in the shifter so anyway get on the car have a look hmm. so anyway about a, back in april i bought a transmission controller for uh, my firebird so it's a 480 e standalone controller so you look at it in there it's it's uh listed here as 2890 and uh, basically this and you can see let's see if i bring up my phone uh purchased is any 2890 that's the one we bought there but anyway uh you see it's only three wires So anyway, when you uh, when you buy it, there's no instructions at all with any of it. So uh, you go back to the website, and uh, anyway, you'll get this diagram here, and it'll show you how to hook it up. But anyway, uh, basically, it's a uh, you see here we didn't even use the ground. You only got if you only if you want to use a lock up converter, you only got to use a switch live and a red wire. Now we just put the converter in and switch in like this here and light the light up. So I'm going to have a look. As you can see, for the plug over there, it just plugs in the shifter, the shifter, sorry, above the shifter cable, it just plugs in the side of the transmission of the case. And uh, turn around here. Is it? You can see the, the module is just inside the frame there. Let's see where I can point at it because I got the camera backwards. No, it's up there. So it's all jumbled together, this little module is with it. Not very big, as you can see by uh, my hands here. So anyway, just got that up there strapped on. So anyway, after we got that strapped on and uh, ran into the car, a bit of a light here. So if we look inside here, as you can see, we got to come in. Coming in here on this one. This is where we got it coming in the car. And uh, we basically we put a fuse, but we just put the live wire but basically directly into the fuse box uh, right there. So anyway, uh, we wired it up as it was. And, uh, and the instructions. And anyway, uh, like I said again, uh, we didn't use our lock up or anything or but uh anyway uh it's just hooked up and i'll get in here for a little bit so if you look in the car i uh there we go it's a bit better if you look in the car i this is the switch they gave it with us and it's uh I hooked it up to lock up the converter. I want to put a toggle switch here, put the light in, hooked it up uh, as per instructions. But uh, I guess the key got to be on. So when you go to lock up, you just 
pressed the uh, pressed the button for lock up. As I remember which way has the switch turned. <laughs> so you press the button and it'll lock up the converter. And you just uh, turn it off when you don't want it locked up. Well anyway, we take it for a little run around a few minutes and uh, see how it works.
Anyway, uh, so that would be the Amazon uh, standalone uh, Tramus controller. So, like I said, we had a 4 LED one. And uh, seems to work fine. So anyway, uh, that's all for Weekend at Bernie's Garage YouTube channel. See you on the next one.